Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day 268. The rest of the gang got up early to watch the sunrise, but I'm more of a sunset kind of guy, you know. It's now 10 o'clock, a uh, much more reasonable time to be getting up. We're gonna enjoy our last day in Hawaii here. We're going to a lagoon. I think we're just gonna perch up for the day, not do any driving, not do anything too strenuous. We just need a day to relax. So we're gonna do that and uh, we're gonna farewell this holiday and start. Come and join us, let's go. Well, this is a bit cheeky, but they got me a surprise and it's cream donuts for breakfast. You kidding me? Mmm. Gonna feel great for the rest of the day. <laughs> As usual, first stop, coffee. There's this place, it's called Arvo, which is Australian. Emma wanted to try it out, so here we are. Got some meatballs, meatballs and toast. This looks great. This is our spot for the day. It's time to get in. Amy said she just saw a seal. Which I don't 100% believe. Okay, she wasn't wrong. There they are. Wow. Proof. Do not disturb. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. More than we bargained for. Wildlife in this beautiful little lagoon. Oh, I've cut the living daylights out of my feet though on these rocks. Now I gotta get all the way back. That was very cool, very worth it. Look at this thing coming in. Look at that. Generally relaxed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Waikiki. I think we're just gonna do some more hardcore relaxing. We're doing a bit of beach hopping today. Maybe do some surfing. Lockie's been threatening to hire a surfboard. I think he might actually follow through with it today. So we will see how he goes and maybe give it a go. Surprisingly, I've never actually been able to get up on a surfboard. So is today the day? Maybe. Let's see. All right, I'm just trying to find the rest of the gang. I'm walking through this very fancy hotel. Look at this place. It's like a royal palace. Right on Waikiki Beach. I'm just walking through. I spy a limb. Ah, there's Emma and Kathleen and Maddie. Amy tried to surf for the first time? Oh, I surfed before. I'm a surfer girl. <laughs> um, it was good. Yeah, I, could, I got up and then fell off. Yeah, because I felt like every time I got up, the wave had like already gone under me. Yeah. Like... Uh, it's Maddie's turn. Lockie's getting her out there. He's doing a bit of coaching. Wonder if she'll get up. Uh -oh. Ladies of leisure. F off, George. With their Mai Tais. F off. 
<laughs> Look at this, we're going to stay here until the sunset. There's still quite a bit left. But hilariously, we just got asked to do an interview because um, the AFL Grand Finals happening in Australia this weekend, and we were lucky enough to perform at the halftime show one year, and they want to interview us. We're like, we're at the beach, I hope that's okay. They're like, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to be doing it in the water. <laughs> uh oh. And look, everyone's watching them. <laughs> We are clinging on to this holiday, aren't we? The sun, <laughs> the sun is set. But there are a lot of surfers still out there. So, why not? Why kicky not? It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I know where it We don't want it to win. It's the prettiest place on earth. Oh, I can see why Hawaii is so popular. Hmm. But we'll have to come back. Just means we have to come back. I think this is definitely the prettiest place I've ever been to. <laughs> so nice. oh. Like Thailand's amazing, but it doesn't have the mountains. Mm. Like Queenstown's uh, incredible, but it doesn't have the ocean. Like this. Yes. Mm. Nashville's awesome, but it's landlocked. Mm. Australia, awesome. It doesn't serve drinks in the, in the beach. Mm. Hawaii, nailing it. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Ginger beer, oh, Shirley no. Temple. <laughs> Emma's got her Mai Tai in a very precarious position. I'm just gonna keep filming until she goes ass over tit. Okay, Liam is shivering. Girls, maybe we should get out of the ocean. No. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The holiday's over, guys. <laughs> My tires seems to be working. <laughs> Ruining this <laughs> beautiful moment. It's the father-daughter dance going on. Gavin's here. <laughs> also, Liam hates dancing, and Emma always forces him to dance, and he does not enjoy it. <laughs> We gotta get these girls home. <laughs> oh. Alright, we finally made it off the beach. Asian food hall. The girls are tanked. <laughs> yes, you are. Emma. Emma has no pants. <laughs> oh no. Maddie's like, I don't know what way to go. In the Noodle Street. May God help everybody here. Liam and I thought it was a good idea to separate from the girls for dinner. <laughs> Ramen Barrio, Tokyo, Hawaii. They've got six stores in the world. Five of them are in Japan. One of them's here in Hawaii. So it's going to be great. First course gyoza, you got a gyoza the gyoza. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Look at that. That is a mountain. It's a mountain of ramen. Wowza. How is it? I'm glad I'm here. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good flavor. Yeah, spicy? Ish. Yeah, could have gone a little hotter, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's spicy, spicy, spicy for Rum and burial. It's just enough boys day. I'd like to let you know that this is something George does regularly where he goes to dinner with another male. Because Kathleen hates ramen. So he finds another male who's willing to go and have ramen with him. And 
silly soccer is Liam tonight. And he seems pretty happy with himself. Look at them schmoozing. Like they don't know each other. Little does Liam know. That's his brother-in-law. <laughs> Pretending to share the bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get it. No, I'll get it. No, don't worry. I'll get it. You get it. Okay, I'll get it. Oh no, if you must. Okay, alright. You get it. Okay, we better go. Kathleen's had too much time to film here. <laughs> Should we wrap this shit up? Shall we? Alright. Let's go about man bag. Let's go. Let's get your man back. Act cool. Grab your man back. <laughs> All right, we're back in the room now and we are just getting packed up, ready for the flight tomorrow. It's been an insane holiday, but all good things must come to an end. We fly back to Sydney tomorrow um, and then on to Brisbane after that, getting ready for the Zora tour. That's gonna be exciting. We're very, 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 very stoked to be going home. I can't wait to see mum and dad, some of my friends. It's gonna be an incredible touchdown in Brisbane, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining us on this amazing holiday. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.